welcome to Borrow with Mary. Today we have an arms and back focused class. So this is a really great class if you're working on a body strength, if you are looking to get a little bit more open across the chest, maybe improve your posture, maybe just get a little bit more mobility and range of motion for your everyday life. All of those things we will tap into today. For equipment, all you need is a set of light weights. So I have a set of two pound weights. Now we are gonna do a series where we're holding both weights in one hand. If that is uncomfortable for you, you could also grab like a four or five pound weight along with a set of light weights and have them both and just swap between the two, okay? To start, just take one weight in either hand, just relax your shoulders down. We're just gonna take some shoulder rolls, up, back, and around. Opening up to the front of the chest, getting a little bit of movement, of the shoulder blades. So the shoulder blades squeeze together and widen apart. Just reverse the circle of the shoulder rolls, bring them up and forward. So today's class is gonna be a pretty quick one, but we are gonna take a little more time than we do in a just arms focus class. We will do some single sided work and then we will finish up the class using one weight in either hand. Last circle here. Now just do me a favor and take one more circle back to open the chest. Beautiful. Take both weights into your left hand and I'm gonna spin in profile so you can see what I've got going on here. We're gonna hinge forward from the torso, soften the knees and just let your hips kind of reach back behind you as your chest reaches forward. Extend your left arm long in front of you. We're gonna squeeze the left elbow back, narrow row, both weights are in the left hand. Extend the left arm straight. Now from there, fly the left arm, left arm wide, and then lower it down. Pick up your tongue bow, narrow row, chest fly. Go narrow row, and a chest fly. So what I want you to find here is that this movement is initiating because your left shoulder blade is moving. So we're squeezing our left shoulder blade in towards center, and then we're allowing it to spread wide. So every time you lift the arm, the shoulder blade squeezes in. And every time you lower the arm, shoulder blade spreads wide. Soften the left shoulder here and let this really be a work for your upper back. Your shoulders are gonna get some work as well, but really feel how your upper back has to work here to move the arm. Two more sets, row and fly. Last set here, go row. Now I want you to hold that fly, just pulse your arm up one inch. Little lift, little lift. So left arm is extended out to the left. Left shoulder is soft. Eight more pulses, eight, six. Pulse here for four, three, two. Lower the left arm, take that narrow row. Hold the row, just squeeze your left elbow back and back and back. So really feel how your left shoulder blade hugs in toward midline. Now your heart is lifted here. We're not shrugging the shoulders up to the ears. Nice and open across the chest. And the rib cage is knitting in and drawing back towards the back body. Eight more pulses, eight. Go six. Here for four, three, two. Hold it there, take a tricep kick back. Bend the elbow in. Now extend the left arm straight. Narrow row, pick it up, go. It's kick back, bend. Reach and row, you've got it. Kick back, bend, reach and row. Keep going just like that. As you extend the left arm behind you, feel your triceps fire. So the muscles that line the back side of your upper arm really fire up here. As you extend the arm out in front of you, keep the shoulder bone drawing back, excuse me, keep the upper arm bone drawing back and the shoulder soft, go reach, bend, out, and squeeze last time, go reach. Then I want you to hold that row, tricep kick back out and in. You've got to reach and bend. So with two weights together, obviously, <laughs> it's a little heavier, right? So we will not take a traditional tricep series here with the heavier weights in our hands. You're just gonna take a hold with that left arm straight in four more, in three more. Go two, now keep the left arm straight, hold. Draw the left arm a little longer and lift it a little bit higher. Relax your shoulders, relax your face. Hold right here for four. Arm lifts higher, three. Hold here for two. Rise all the way up. Flip your left palm forward, bicep curl, and out. Go in and out. Relax through the knees so you have a little bit of softness here. Now double check when you rose up to standing that all of your weight didn't shift back into your heels. So we have equal weight between the front and the back of our feet. 
So many of us bring our weight back as we stand. Four more, go four. We're gonna add on in three. Just a bicep curl, two. Last time here, now bicep curl, halfway hold it. Extend the arm out in front of you. Squeeze the elbow back, lengthen the arm. Faster, go in, reach, bend, extend. You got it, in, and press, and squeeze, and lower. Now as you squeeze the elbow back, you have the option to pull the elbow back behind the rib cage to get a little bit more into the upper back. If that doesn't feel good for you, just don't do it. Two more times, go in and reach and bend and lower, last one in and reach and bend. Now in halfway, reach the arm, hold it there, just pulse the left arm up and up and up, you're almost there. Palm is up to the ceiling, left shoulder softening down the back and you're asking a lot out of your left bicep. Go eight more, we hold in six more, we hold in four, three, two, Here's your hold, left arm reaches straighter, inhale. As you exhale, maybe you press the left arm up, just one more inch, hold right here for four. You're here for three, you're here for two. Set the weights down, rather release the arm down, I should say, and switch the weights to the other hand. I'm gonna spin and face the direction so that I'm still facing you. Don't worry about it, you can stay right where you are. Hinge the torso forward, soften the knees, and then extend that right arm out in front of you. Let me just adjust the weights here, okay, beautiful. From there, you're gonna take your narrow row, extend the right arm straight, and then we take that fly out to the right, and squeeze it in, tempo, go, it's row, and reach, and fly, and lower, yes, it's squeeze, and reach, and up, and down. So remember that the goal here is to really focus on the movement of your right shoulder blade. So the right shoulder blade is squeezing in towards center, and that is what initiates the movement. So that every time your shoulder blade squeezes in, you get some activation into the upper back. And then every time the arm lowers back to starting position, you allow your shoulder blade to spread wide. So you're increasing the mobility and the movement of your shoulder blades. Plus, we're getting some really strong work into the upper back, go far more. Three more. Be sure the knees are soft. Two more times, go row and reach and fly. Last time here, go row and reach. Hold the fly, pulse the right arm up. Go lift and lift. Soften to the right shoulder. This should be pretty intense in your right shoulder and into your right back. Go eight more, seven more, six more. Yes, you've got it. Four, three, two. Lower the right arm, take that narrow row. Hold the row to squeeze the elbow up and up, and up, so right shoulder blade squeezes in, and in, and in, yes, spine is long, abdominals are engaged, so the pubic bone is lifting gently towards the belly button here, staying really strong in the abdominal wall, you're here for eight more, for six more, here for four, three, hold the lift, tricep kickback, right arm stretches, right arm bends, and extend the right arm all the way straight, Squeeze the elbow up, pick it up, go, it's kick back, bend, reach, row, kick back, bend, reach, and row. So as you kick the right arm back, you're firing up to the back side of the upper arm. So you really wanna fight with tricep work to get the arm as straight as possible. That is what the tricep's job is. It's to straighten your arm. So to really target the triceps effectively, you wanna work with a straight arm. Two more times, go kick back, bend, reach, and row. Last time it's kick back, bend, reach, just the kick back, go, kick back, bend, stretch, and bend. So right elbow stays lifted, so the right upper arm is not dropping as you bend the elbow. We're keeping the right upper arm bone in the same spot, and just bring the lower part of the arm out to meet it, out, and in three more, go three, and go two. Keep the right arm straight, hold it there. Extend it even longer, lift the right arm even higher. Hold right here for four, three, two. Rise all the way up, right palm flips forward, bicep curl in and out. You've got it, in and out. So nothing fancy, you've done this before. Even with two weights in the hand, 
it's still not the craziest, heaviest bicep curl you've ever done. So really try to create the resistance for yourself here. Push through the air, squeeze the weights, and make it a little bit harder for yourself. Knees are soft. And then again, double check the weight is not shifting back into the heels. You have equal weight into the front and back of the feet. Go four more. Add on in three more. Go two. Now this time stop halfway. Extend the right arm straight. Squeeze the right elbow back. Extend it down. And curl it in. Tempo, go, it's reach. Squeeze, long, and bend. You've got it out and in. Now you have the option, as you squeeze the elbow in, you can pull it back behind the ribs to get even more into the back body. If that doesn't feel good for you, don't worry about it. Four more times. Three more times, it's out and in and stretch. Last two here, go reach and bend. Now this time, hold the reach out. Soften through the right shoulder. Extend the right arm even straighter. And pause right here, little pulses. Right arm up and up and up and up. You've got it, lift and lift and lift. This is it for the double weight work in one hand. We'll take one weight into either hand and finish this class. You have eight more pulses right here. Go, it's eight, seven, six, five, go four, three, two, hold it there, inhale. Exhale, right arm straighter, maybe one inch higher. Hold, breathe, it's four, three, two, lower the right arm. Take one weight into either hand, sweep the arms out to the sides of the room. Thumbs are pointing up to the sky, pinkies are down. Lower the arms down, squeeze and lift them up. You've got it, inhale down, and exhale, lift. So almost like half of a snow angel here, okay? Now, as you lower down, I want you to really extend out through the arms. And then double check that you're not resting the weights on your thighs. We're not taking that momentary break. As you lift up, relax the shoulders and really elongate through the knuckles two more times. And lift. Last time here, go down. Now I want you to hold the lift. Take a breath in. As you exhale, the right arm sweeps overhead. Right arm lower, switch left arm overhead. And left arm down. I'm gonna challenge you to stay slow here and to really focus again on the mobility, the movement of your shoulder blade. Spread it wide, squeeze it in and spread it wide. Yeah, you're lifting the shoulder blade up and lowering it down. So it's moving now instead of in and out, it's moving up and down. So now you get a little bit more range of motion. Four more times, lift and lower. Three more times, go lift. Ooh, my shoulders are burning. Two more times, go lift. And lower. Last one here, go lift. Now hold that lower. Flip your palms down to face the floor. And then flip your palms back to face the wall behind you. Pulse your pinkies up and up and up and up. You got it. Lift and lift. So a little internal rotation here. Go lift and lift. Collarbone stay really wide. Eight more presses. Eight. Things change in six, things change in four, three, two, palms face me, elbows squeeze to your sides, palms draw in, palms press open, squeeze it in so this feels amazing after all of that shoulder work, at least it does for me. <laughs> what is really great about this really subtle movement is that you are getting some support and work into the muscles of your rotator cuff. So really helping to establish the connection of our movement in a safe way, right? Two more times, arms squeeze in, press out. Last time, squeeze in. Now hold that press out, press the arms out an inch, go out. Little press, little press. Elbows are squeezing into the sides. Knuckles are reaching long, so the wrists aren't broken back here. The wrist joints are nice and long. You're here for eight. Squeeze your elbows in a little bit deeper. Four more presses for three, two. Squeeze the palms in, inhale. As you exhale, we're gonna press the arms up to frame the face and then lower them right back down. You've got it. Exhale up and inhale down. You're almost there. Go exhale, lift and inhale lower. Beautiful work, three more. As you press the arms up, relax the shoulders down the back. 
Now this time, press the arms up, they frame the face. You hold it there, little presses up with the knuckles. Go a little up, little up, little up. The wrists are stacked over the elbows here. Elbows are in line with the armpits. And then double check when the arms lifted, did you bring your weight back to your heels? Realign your weight, center it over your feet. Relax your shoulders and soften your knees. Go eight more. Almost there, go six more. Go four, three, two, hold it. Big breath in, big breath out. From here, fly the arms out. 90 degree bend, you've got it. Hammer curl and in, go out and in. So you can see both arms in your peripheral vision. We're almost done with this class. Eight, seven, you've got it. Six, four more times, go four. Three, arms stay long in two. Keep the arms long, soften the shoulders, press the palms back and back and back. One more time, the shoulder blades squeeze and squeeze and squeeze. You have a final hold in 16 more. Could you get the arms a little straighter? Could you relax the shoulders a little bit more? Collarbones are wide, chest is open. Yes, you got it. Four more times, go four, three, two. Here's your hold, inhale, reach the arms long. Exhale, soften the shoulders, stand tall, and then reach the arms one more inch. Hold for four, hold for three, weights down in two. <sighs> Set the weights off to the side, amazing work. Woo, that was a lot happening in the upper back. Let's take the right arm across the body, hook down about the forearm area, soften the right shoulder, and then maybe turn your gaze towards the right. So we open up through the upper back and the shoulder. Hmm. Amazing job today. I hope you feel really open. I feel really, really open across my chest now. I also feel pretty fatigued in my shoulders and my back. <laughs> Take a big inhale. Let it go. Switching sides, left arm wraps across, hook down around the forearm area, soften the shoulders and then maybe turn your gaze toward the left as you take a really gentle pull on your left arm. A nice stretch across the upper back and into the top of the left shoulder here. Let's take two big breaths. Inhale. Exhale. One more time. Breathe in. Let it go. Release that. Interlace the hands behind the low back. Press the palms down towards the floor. Lift the heart up. Opening the chest. Rolling the shoulder blades together. Rolling the heads of the shoulders back and open. Maybe lift your gaze to the ceiling. Big inhale. Big exhale. One more time. Breathe in. Knuckles reach away from you. And let it go. Release the interlace of the hands. Inhale, sweep the arms high. Exhale, let it go. And that is your class. Amazing work today. I hope you're feeling really strong, really open, really ready to take on the rest of your day. As always, I hope you'll subscribe, like, comment, tell me what you want to see. I love hearing your feedback. I really try to incorporate what you ask for into my filming schedule. Hope you have a fantastic rest of your day, and I'll be back here on the mat next Monday. See you then.